Hi, I'm Carl Casarda. I've been running the Two Gun Action Challenge match near Tucson for about 10 years now. I'm a Master Class NRA High Power Shooter with 28 of the 30 required points for Distinguished Rifleman Badge. And I was also the second class Frontier Cartridge Duelist uh, down in uh, Tombstone, Arizona for three years in a row. Yep. So I have a pretty good variety of, of competitive shooting as well as match running. You're and a very well-rounded and highly experienced shooter. I'll say it because you're too self-conscious to say it yourself. Okay, fair enough. And I do have a drawer full of tactical certificates from a whole myriad of tactical companies. And I'm Ian. Uh, I run a website called Forgotten Weapons. And uh, if anything, I'm a specialist in older guns and weird guns. And together, we decided to put together a program called In Range TV. Yep, so if you've been following In Range TV, it's about a year old now. And we thank you for your support. Thank you for watching. We, we love, love you, fans. Guys. Appreciate it all the support. If you haven't seen it, we want to give you an introduction and talk about something else here. So yep. in range is exactly what we described. My kind of modern experience and modern competitive and training experience, along with Ian's historical, bringing together reviews and concepts around the current firearms community, gear and guns, through a historic lens. Right. Which is you, Once you know where it came from, only then can you really understand what something is and where it's going. And this interesting cycle, which you'll see in our content if you continue to watch it, and I hope you do, uh, that nothing's new. Right. So that's one of the interesting takes we do on this. We've done some history too, some Old West yeah. stuff as well. So what we're coming to you about is a year into this project now, one of the things that's one of the very basic concepts of InRange is to not be beholden to any one specific interests or goals. We want to review or talk about our content with no overlords. We want to look at modern guns and gear honestly and without a bias. And we want to be able to have the ability to say what we feel is appropriate to say about that gun, not, not only its historic origins, but the realities of running it in a practical environment. Is it worth buying or not? And you know what? There's a corrupting factor. Even if you just get a review gun from a company, even if you try not to, you kind of feel beholden to that company to give them the benefit of the doubt or to give them a better review in hopes that they'll come back and let you try out a loaner of their next gun. It is interesting to note that if you reference our review of the Masterpiece Arms Rifle, which we got as a loaner gun, kind of through a channel, and unfortunately had to give it a negative review, well, besides the light strikes on the primer, the charging handle cutting into the buffer, well, the locking lug for the, the, the buttstock, and um, the strange malfunction we had with the bolt and that ammunition, we now have noticed that the C-clips are falling off of the fire control group. The amount of guns coming to us as free loaners depreciated dramatically. Um, yeah. So that loaner thing doesn't work. Even if you think there are guys out there that are getting loaner guns, it's hard for them to be able to give you as honest a review as they probably want to because of the mechanism that they're stuck underneath. Right. So what we need to do is fund this project in a way that we can actually afford to buy everything that we want to review. Right. And so we're not doing that for our own profit. In fact, one of the plans we want to do is buy these items, review them, and if we get a sufficient amount of support... If we can afford to do it, absolutely. We're give actually away. We're going to give that stuff away. So as long as you're legally allowed to own it, one of the ideas here is we'll review something, whether it's an optic or a knife or a gun or armor or... or computer program, we go to DEF CON too, yep. um, that, that someone, every quarter of the year, out of the supporter base, will be essentially raffled that item. Yep. It isn't for our profit, it's just because we want to give these honest reviews. Right. So we need to find a clever and unique funding mechanism to do this. We've tried a couple things over the last year, some of it more successful than others. It's not getting where we need it to be to do this right. So that's why we're coming to you today with this Patreon project. This is specifically to support the in-range effort, which is this convergence of Ian and I, yep. with this focus that we discussed and to, if we can keep those numbers we're going to do some things with this yeah uh, we want to give away the stuff that we're reviewing and we want to be able to bring you guys a, a different sort of perspective and an honest perspective and a no bias perspective on what's out there that you might or might not want to buy for yourself and this will also enable us the ability to bring some of the older content but all of it in time in high def free on youtube right uh, as carl said we've been doing this for about a year now and we have not put most of our material up on YouTube. I think uh, if we can get some funding through Patreon, I think it would be feasible for us, and it, I, we'd like to have more people able to see what we're doing. So we're gonna go ahead and put our high def content up on YouTube as well, where everybody can see it. Right, so that's the goal. Yep. So we thank you for your support if you've already been watching this. If you're new to the channel, please watch it and check it out. Let us know what you think, we need the input. We'd love to have your financial support. I totally understand people who can't or simply aren't interested in it. If you enjoy the channel, uh, share it with your friends. Let other people know. That's almost as much of a help as uh, funding directly financially. You know, I'd agree with that. Our first, our, really, our first mission here is for to get the word out. In range has been, it needs more sharing. Yep. People need to talk about it more, get them the news out there. If you can do that for us and that's all you can do, 
thank you. We appreciate, we appreciate that. It. And that's the, that's really one of the best things you can do. If you're willing to support the project and get us to that place where we can review these things with that honest perspective, awesome. Thank you for watching and we appreciate your support either way.